All right. All right. The men in for Robert Stryker, sculptor, wanted for questioning in connection with the murder of Gene John Model, is being pressed with every facility at our command. Police expect results soon. But would it be fair to report that Stryker has given you the slip that the police are baffled? Whether it be fair or not is immaterial, Mr. Doyle. You already said as much in your broadcast last night. Excuse me. Mike. Hey, Mike. I'm sorry. How about a beer at Sally's? Thank you, sir. All right. Give me a minute. I'll meet you there. Stow the gear, Jerry. I'll be in Sally's having a beer. Gary. Telephone. Doyle. I'm always in the market for a story. Who's calling? My name is Stryker. Robert Stryker, the sculptor? That's correct. I'd like to have a talk with you, Mr. Doyle. Just the two of us, you know? Well, yeah, sure. Uh, just, just let me get a pen here. Go ahead, Mr. Stryker. Where do we meet? 206 East 8th Street, apartment 7. I'll be there. Hi, Mike. No. Hey, Mike, I'm sorry. I know you're under pressure from all the second guesses in town. It didn't occur to me until just now that I was one of them. I'll survive. Yeah, sure. Well, cheers. Yeah. Sal, you know, I'm under pressure, too. This is a sweetheart of a murder case. The boss wants me to deliver. You're not doing bad for a local station at all. I was reading the TV section of the subway this morning. Your rating's gone up 2.8. Well, all the guys that used to go out with Gene Dawn must be tuning in. Anyway, I don't pay attention to those figures. No. Just like a ball player doesn't pay attention to his batting average, huh? Hey, Sal, how about my change? Change? The beer was your idea. What's the big rush? I just got a call from Liz. I uh, forgot I have to meet her at lunch at Sardi's East. Hey, Sal. Liz called you on the radio phone in your station wagon? Yeah. How about a luncheon date? I thought the new breed of girlfriend played it a lot cooler these days. She's hung up on me. Uh, you know how it is when a dame falls for you. You were my age once. That young I never was. So I'm callow. Also late. <laughs> See you later, Mike. A lunch date. He expects me to believe that. Why don't I believe it? Why don't I believe anything anymore? Garage, get this thing off the street and wait for me. What'll I tell them if the news desk calls? Won't come up. Radio phone's out of order. The last time you put it out of order, there were harsh remarks. Some of them to the effect that I was a lousy engineer. The last time I put it out of order, I got a bonus, which I split with my crew. My loyal crew. It's out of order. Twenty-seven squad, Detective Ward. No lieutenant isn't here at the moment. Oh, hi, Jake. You want to leave a message? Hold it. Jacobs. You get anything? The guy turned out to be what? A tree shirt. You check him out anyway? All right, come on back.
the ladder up to your face. Hold it up! Recognize you, Mr. Doyle. Are you alone? Yes, I am. It's not the kind of place I'd bring my girl to. Go inside, Mr. Doyle. Door's unlocked. Robert Stryker is currently residing at 206 East 8th Street. What is it? A beat-up rooming house. Corso has it staked out. I've been wanting to meet you, Mr. Doyle. Sat in that chair. Night after night, watching you broadcast the news. You're the only one who seems to understand. That's fine. How did you get it? Well, we worked the art supply houses and then started on the model agencies. The tip came from a girl who once posed for Stryker. She works for a painter now. We met before. Uh, from across the room. Me here. You there. You said I was a genius. Well, yes, I, I did say that. You see, I knew it intuitively. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of everything. 270 Detective Squad, Lieutenant Haynes. Johnny! Hey, what's up? You look jumpy, Gary. You don't mind if I call you Gary? Delighted. I bet you're wondering whether I did or didn't kill Gene Dawn. Yes, Lieutenant, I know how many times you stabbed her. 17, but I, I think I can handle it myself. All right. All right, I'll wait. Bring the whole department if you want. I need your help, Gary. Every cop in the world's looking for me. What kind of deal do you have in mind, Bob? I need a lawyer. I, I need your best lawyer there is. I, I won't give myself up until I get the best lawyer in the country. Someone like that would cost a lot of money. I know. The network will pay for it. It depends. Now, what would they be buying, Bob? The exclusive story. The whole thing. How and why Gene Dawn was killed. There are cops out there. What? We ought to get out of here. You told them? I mean, heck no, I just told you they were out there. Why would I bring them here? Listen, you better not be double-crossing me. Johnny, you and Matty find that back entrance and cover it. What about the precinct men? Don't move in closer after we enter the house. Gene Dawn? Can't be far away. Keep going. Channel 6. Mark under Trafalgar 4-5598. Channel 6 News Division. Doyle's lunch date. We missed him. This is Marco. 
He says he saw Stryker go out the back way. I said the cat in room seven split. Was he alone? Everybody's alone, man. You live here? Yeah. Kind of. Check him out. Hey, keep my pad out of this. I don't want your big feet clumping around. Well, let's have it then. Was he alone? There was a guy with him. Establishment type, straight. Cat lick clean, pants strobo pressed, cream oil handsome. Had her all. Sound like Gary Doyle to you? Sure. And like a hundred other guys. I'd like to know the whereabouts of Gary Doyle. Uh, he's out on an assignment with uh, Mobile News Unit 1. Call him. He has radio phone on his truck. Is there some charge against Mr. Doyle? No. Then stop giving orders. The assignment desk hasn't been able to contact Mr. Doyle for the past hour. So at the present moment, we don't know the whereabouts of Unit 1. Isn't that rather unusual? No, not particularly. Doyle's one of our top men. If he sees fit, he can exercise initiative without informing the assignment desk. Lieutenant, I assume that you have some reason for paying me this visit? I have reason to suspect that he's with Robert Stryker. Right now. You think he's with Stryker? Well, it's more than a hunch. Mr. Archer. Oh, hi, Jim. Come on in. Lieutenant Haynes, Jim Hershey. Hi. We're on standby in the control room. We just heard from Unit 1 that they're going Good. to... Good. Fine. Fine. I'll join you in a few minutes. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Uh, oh, uh, Lieutenant, leave your number. Mr. Archer, if that message confirms what I was telling you, you can't afford not to cooperate with the police. Stryker spent six months in a mental institution after a homicidal attack on a commercial artist he was working for. Add to that the 17 wounds on Gene Doan's body. He's dangerous. Doyle could be in a lot of trouble.